What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Darium's Competitive Pokemon. Going to be rocking another game on PTCGO with my Decidueye list. Really like this list. Uh, I just think that this is a nice, well-rounded deck. Uh, interested to see what I'm playing against. Maybe this is a Gardevoir GX deck. I think that Decidueye has just a lot of really good matchups in standard format. Uh, I feel really good about the Gardevoir matchup. feel really good about the Metagross matchup, the Ninetales matchup. Uh, I feel good against the Bulu Vika Volt matchup. Uh, and I think that it has a 50 50 Galis uh, Garbodor matchup. You might think that that sounds a little weird. Like, how is that matchup 50 50? But it is. I mean, if you could just keep their Guard of War, uh, or if you could keep their Garbodor off the field, which is actually not all that hard with all of the sniping options you have with Espeon, you definitely have options to keep that Garbodor out of play. And then once you get Garbodor out of play, I mean, it's just all gravy from there. The You just tank hit so easily with your Decidueyes. I cannot stress enough how good Max Potion is in this format. Uh, however, this hand that I have started uh, appears to be pretty much booty. Oh, and I'm not playing against a Gardevoir GX deck as I had hoped. It looks like I'm actually playing against maybe a Xerneas Break deck. So this should be a lot more interesting. I have never played against Xerneas Break with this deck. I have heard that it might be a bad matchup for me which I think uh, could very well be true. So we are going to see firsthand what this matchup is like uh, and, uh, you know, and go from there. I think that there are a couple interesting interactions here. First of all, uh, Espeon is not going to be very good against this deck. Espeon, there's no, pretty much no reason to lift up my opponent's Pokemon uh, because all their basics have 130 hit points. So that's bad. And then also their attacks take two energy, so Tapu Lele doesn't do... Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This starting hand is so bad. All right, Sycamore. Um, this is why we have Hollow Hunt, right? If we can ever get one into play. Uh, let's go ahead and Ultra Ball away. Oy, 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 oy. Um, we could Ultra Ball. We could Feather. Uh, we could get... Um, let's, let's do that. Let's Ultra Ball away both my Dartrix. That's fine. Let's get ourselves a Vulpix. And we will just Beacon. And then we're going to go and just hope that Beacon can start to get us some good stuff going on. Like, I mean, obviously we can get a Decidueye here. And let's just also get ourselves, I think, a Lolan Ninetales. Yep. And then just hope that we could just start to apply some pressure. Hopefully here next turn where when I end, maybe I can end and get myself a couple of Rowlet. That would be great. Uh, but you can see here, things are probably going to get pretty stressful here pretty quickly. My opponent's going to Geomancy a couple times, and then they're going to start doing a huge amount of damage. And their Xerneas Breaks have like 150 hit points, which is a lot of hit points to deal with, considering that they don't have anybody underneath them that is vulnerable and capable of being picked off with Espeon. So uh, I am feeling the burn here, feeling... Oh, okay, 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 I see it. All right, we did get a Bridget, so I think that we're just going to go ahead and bridge it. Uh, I do like that. Let's get ourselves a couple of Rowlets. And then what else? We could get myself a Latios. We could get a Tapu Coco promo. Let's probably just get the Tapu Coco promo and just try to spread to everything. And then I don't think there's any reason to evolve into the Ninetales GX quite yet. I think I probably save that and I just go ahead and beacon for a couple of things. Uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, though if I do evolve into the Ninetales GX, then... Yeah, I probably do that and just make it so that my opponent can't really take an easy knockout next turn. And then let's Feather Arrow. We're going to put it there. Um, and let's just pass. So uh, I'm banking on my opponent not getting a knockout here. Let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. They could do 12, 15. Uh, I'm not really thinking that they're going to get a knockout here on my Alolan Ninetales. So then I'm going to put them in a situation where if they do hit into my Alolan Ninetales, he could just sit up here and tank for a little while. I can Max Potion if I need to. I can uh, I can, I can can Ice Path GX if I need to. Looks like my is my opponent just going for the Geomancy here? They don't really have too much going on. They just plan on stacking. Oh, I forgot this deck plays double colorless. That's like really good. 
Okay, all right, yep, things are officially getting stressful. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Oh, they are in the money. They are doing big amounts of damage. They're going to be taking some one-hit knockouts here. And I got nothing going on. All right. So I don't necessarily even want to keep this alone with nine tails up here anymore because he's just going to get knocked out. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Oh yeah, that thing is going down. Um, and I suspect that my opponent could even maybe knock out a Decidueye, but I'm just going to have to take that chance. Let's go feather. Uh, let's let's put a Pokemon from my discard pile back into my hand. Let's get a Dartrix here. So at least maybe we could start to get something going, and then. We're going to retreat into Decidueye. Feather Arrow again. Oh, this is bad. I am in a lot of pain right now. <laughs> this deck, oh my gosh, this is a horrible matchup. Let's see. Uh, hopefully my opponent, you know, just has to power up this, you know, this Xerneas again. I hope. I don't really know. I mean, it, it, for a second there, Alola Ninetales GX seemed like a good play, but now that my opponent's got all this energy in play, it definitely does not seem all that great. Things have just escalated here very quickly. I'm assuming I maybe my opponent plays like Fairy Garden. I, I think they probably play Fairy Garden. To be able to retreat here, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Parallel City would be so good right now. <laughs> just be able to knock two of my opponent. Oh, they do have the Guzma. All right, bring them up. Yep, my opponent's out for blood. Go ahead, take them out, man. Just do, go ahead, take 250. Oh, my God. Gosh, so they didn't have a way to retreat. They just went ahead and Guzma, or else I assume they would have just took out the Decidueye. That is way too much damage for y'all to be doing, man. I am not not super stoked about that. All right, let's put the Floatstone there. Max Potions ain't doing nothing. Let's get ourselves some energy. Oh, boy. All right, yeah, we're going to have to knock this thing out. Two, four, six, eight, and what? Um, what? Two, four, six, eight. I, I can knock it out, thank goodness. But then I assume it's just going to go ahead and just get bludgeoned to death. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Let's see. We need to we need to do some damage though. So two, four, six, eight. That's one twenty. We need to feather arrow. Yep, one time here. We need to do both of them. Oh geez. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna have to get this thing to chill out though, because two hundred fifty damage. That is way too much. And then my opponent is going to definitely come up and knock this thing out in one hit, and then what? I guess I promote Tapu Koko promo in N, and then hope that we can, you know, my opponent doesn't have, they actually, weirdly enough, don't have any backup Xerneas break. So, like, maybe they don't have a Xerneas break or something. This just seems completely rough. There's an experience share. I definitely need a field blower to get rid of that thing. See, they're going to Ultra Ball. They do have access. Maybe they prized all their Xerneas break. Maybe that would be great. Nope, they didn't prize all their Xerneas break. They have Fairy Garden, so they don't plan on sacking with this Tapu Lele at all. Oh, yep, they're just going to go ahead and get another Xerneas break. So now they have two Xerneas break, and they're doing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 200 damage. Oh, geez. Yep, and a Sycamore to boot. So they are going to have just access to whatever they want. Yep, three Xerneas break. And you can see how this deck is pretty good. I mean, this deck is, uh, I could definitely see how this deck's pretty good. Just being able to do 200 damage, 200 damage. Uh, that is extremely stressful. I have no adequate way to deal with this. I have no way to hinder my opponent's setup. We have two Decidueye, or three Decidueye in play, which is like pretty good for my deck right now. But there's just... Uh, this whole deck depends on just being able to tank hits with Decidueye. If I can't tank hits with Decidueye, I got nothing, man. I just, I got nothing. So, uh, let's see. We can Feather Arrow three times to the active and then Flying Flip, I guess, is probably the best course of action. Yep, let's just Feather Arrow. And I think we got to put all of them. Let's see, what other options do we have? I could Feather Arrow three times to the Oranguru, I mean, but I think, you know, in that case, and then next turn, if my opponent doesn't have a Guzma, then I am threatening to just take out the Oranguru, which is pretty good. Um, but I, I don't, I don't know, that just seems bad. And if I do it to the active, if I do 60, 
uh, 80 to the active. Then I could do 60 next turn. I don't even get the knockout. Oh, that is so rough. Yeah, let's just feather arrow three times to the Oranguru. Try to take that thing out. Let's, yep. So we're going to take out the Oranguru next turn. And then he's the only one wearing the experience share. So then the goal is that the following turn, we need to attack with Tapu Lele, I guess. And just hope that, you know, hope that the Lele doesn't get, oh my gosh, hope the Lele doesn't get returned knocked out. Because uh, if, if I'm able to knock out this after active Xerneas and that Oranguru with my Lele, I should be able to restrict their... Also, the Oranguru would give me the option to end again uh, and hopefully have it stick. Oh, there it goes. Okay, there it goes. I really want that Tapu Lele hand with the DCE. Okay, we got it back, so that's good. Um, and let's see. We could do 80 damage to my opponent's active. We need to do two to knock out this thing. 80 damage to the active uh, plus what 40 or plus what one more oh geez actually it's only 100 damage to the, i'm not going to be able to knock out the active in time okay so this is just all bad and if i leave my opponent let's see here if i leave my opponent with this board position they're going to do 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 they could do 18 okay so they can do a whole heck of a lot of damage so we're going to have to try and tank a hit here. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21. Yep, we're definitely going to have to try and tank this hit with... Um, let's just go ahead. We're going to end my opponent to 1. Yep, I think that's what we have. We only have one end left. Yep, this has got to be the end to rule them all. Let's see. Just hope my opponent does not get Guzma off of this. We're going to have to grab an end. Yep. And then we're going to have to go in and we're going to have to start attacking with this Decidueye. Just hope it buffs out. All right. Let's do it. Okay. So this is a great hand. I'm actually cool with this. Uh, we do need to Feather Arrow. Let's see. We're going to have to Feather Arrow the Oranguru twice. Knock that out. And then we just got to hope that my opponent does not have knockout on my Decidueye. And so they cannot take game. So there is that. That's fine. And I have the rainbow for next turn. I have max potion, so that's good. Um, let's just go ahead and what we got one more feather arrow, something like that. Where's where's that feather arrow hiding here? Feather arrow. Let's take out. I guess we gotta go for taking out the active Xerneas, probably, or probably the, maybe the one with the choice band. That one seems scary. I don't know. Oh well, let's hope. Let's just we gotta pass. All right. Let's hope for the best here. He's got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21. So my opponent cannot get uh, cannot get a double colorless. Oh, they got a Sycamore. No. No. I, and I bet that they didn't have the Sycamore before I end. Like, I bet their hand was dead. Uh, so let's just max elixir. Oh, no. Don't hit. Do not hit. Nothing. That's right. Nothing. Come on. They got a fairy. Do they have... A field blower. Oh no, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh, this is not what I wanted. I really needed that. I needed that float stone, man. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Oh, now they have a huge hand. They. Oh, I cannot believe they ripped the sycamore there. They really needed to not do that. Okay, so sixty damage. I could do sixty damage to something. Uh, I really need like a Guzma to be able to knock out that Tapu Lele. I can't do it. Um, I can max potion, of course, and then I can hollow hunt. I don't think, yeah, I have not used my GX attack yet, but they're doing 200 damage now. I mean, hopefully, we just got to hope that they don't have it. You know, if they have it, they have it. Let's see. Uh, do I have a float stone left in deck? That's a good question. I do not. So we just need to hollow hunt here. There is no way around it. Let's just go ahead and feather arrow. Uh, we're going to feather arrow. The, I guess the one I'm the most scared of is this Xerneas break here. Uh, my opponent's got 12 cards in left in deck. I mean, hopefully they just, they just don't have what, what's going on. I mean, I don't know if I do 60 to this Lele, uh, then I could potentially knock the Lele out. Um, I think, oh geez, it's just such a weird situation. Let's just do, I mean, I could knock the Lele out if I Guzma it up anyway, because I got this. Uh, choice band here. So let's just try to knock out what's in front of me. 
here. I mean, either way, I'm just going to have to start taking some knockouts on something. And then let's Feather Arrow. I guess let's bridge it. I can't. I don't think there's any. Yeah, there's no reason not to bridge it. Let's just bridge it. And my opponent's only got one prize to take, so I'm not, you know, I don't need any of these things. I got two Guzmas in deck. Okay, that's good to know. Done, and then let's just feather it. Uh, let's hollow hunt, and hopefully we can withstand another hit. I'm looking for a max potion. I'm looking for a float stone, and I have the energy I need in hand. Uh, I guess maybe my fourth end. Is my fourth end prized? I wish I would have looked at that. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know if my fourth end is prized. Um, let's see. I could go with just the end probably is the safest move. Yeah. Okay. And let's do it. Let's just hope that this works out. Oh, geez. Okay. We got a max potion back. Let's see. My opponent, I mean, they probably have it at this point. I just need to, like, Attached an energy, really. I mean, they're coming up pretty confidently. Yep. Okay. They get it. Yeah, 230. Oh, man. 250 even. Okay. Well, live and learn, guys. Pretty brutal slaughtering right there. I think I could have done it. I think, like, I definitely could have squeaked that one out. Um, uh, maybe if just some things had gone different with my Decidueyes there. But, I mean, obviously, things get very stressful, especially if I'm being knocked out 250 damage to Decidueye GX uh, with a non-EX Pokemon. Ugh, not exactly what you want to see, especially a non-EX Pokemon that has 150 hit points. Seems bad. Anyways, thank you all for watching the video. Let me know what you think of Xerneas Break and Decidueye GX in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Peace.